Day. Happening now, our Day of Dreams telethon officially kicks off. Did so about a minute ago. About a minute ago, WSFA 12 News partnering with Mercy House and its MAP Center today to help further the ministry's mission. The Mercy House MAP Center is located at the old WSFA 12 News building. That's where WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis is live this morning. Bethany, this is our way to give back to that community. Yeah, you know, it's been about two and a half years since the TV station moved out of this building and donated it to the Mercy House Ministry and created it into the MAP Center. Before that, though, about 65 years before that, this was our home. This was our community. And this is still a place that's very special to us. Now, this place is doing so much more for this community than we could have ever done as a TV station. The Mercy House MAP Center, MAP stands for Ministry About People. It's transformed this building into a place that provides meals and clothing, shelter, job training, family services, and just overall hope to thousands of people in this community. And today is about continuing that work, continuing the transformation of this neighborhood and those that surround it and really being a part of the solution. We did this last year and this community stepped up in a big way, donating more than $277,000 on our day of dreams and then continued to give until that total was up over $500,000 today. We want to do even better than that. And there are so many ways that you can donate. Of course, you can call in at your donation. We have people who are here ready to answer your phone calls. The phone lines are officially open as of 530 this morning. You can also text your donation or you can donate online. And you've probably noticed a QR code that's at the bottom of your screen. We're going to keep that up all day long. If you'll just open the, the camera app on your smartphone, hold it up to that QR code and then tap on the little yellow link that pops up. That will take you to a page that will give you all the information that you need to know about donating. Guys, it also gives you a little background information about Mercy House and the MAP Center and how it all came to be part of the WSFA 12 News family. It's good to see you back inside that building, Bethany, and doing such great things. Thank you for that live report. We'll check back in with her in just a little bit for much more. That telethon, again, just started at 530 this morning, runs all the way through 630 this evening. Yeah, and as Bethany said, phone lines are open right now, and people from all walks of life continue to support the Mercy House Ministry and the MAP Center. One of those people is Drew Woods, who serves as the chairman of the board. Here are his words on why you should consider supporting today's telethon. I have seen the MAP Center go from uh, a wonderful television station through just a metamorphosis into a community service center, really. And uh, just seeing these rooms change from one business purpose to a ministry purpose and to a community needs thing has been just absolutely amazing to watch and see it happen in such a short amount of time. And so I've seen uh, where there used to be sales halls, I've seen sewing uh, lessons and where there used to be a newsroom here I've seen uh, tutoring and where there used to be conference rooms uh, at the um, where the news uh, people would meet I've seen Trenum uh, do adult education classes and so quite a big transformation has happened here and like we mentioned earlier, that telethon runs until 6.30 this evening. You can call to make a donation. You like you can text. You can scan the QR code seen there on your screen. It'll take you to a web page where you can donate from there. All kinds of different ways you can donate to make a big difference right here in your own backyard.